The California group hoping to revive the Hardin Jail is expected to be in Montana today. But as Color 8's Nick Law reports, a private prison expert remains guarded about the outcome. Less than two weeks after Hardin City officials announced an agreement with California security firm American Police Force to house prisoners and stimulate the Hardin economy, the questions and controversy continues. APF officials want to build things such as an animal shelter and police training center, but private prison expert Frank Smith, who's spent the last 13 years researching private jails, says the plan doesn't seem legitimate. It's just, it doesn't make any sense at all. It, they come on like Mother Teresa in camos. You know, we're going to do all these wonderful things for everybody. You know, heal the sick and, 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 and make the lame walk again. Smith says the first problem American police force will have in trying to meet its end of the bargain is filling the jail. APF doesn't have any, any juice in this fight. It's a fight, you know, for contracts where they'd be up against mammoth corporations. Smith claims there's thousands of beds already available in the private jail sector. The Hardin facility only adds to the problem. There's, they're talking about closing a prison down in Oklahoma right now because there's no prisoners. There's a closed one in Michigan. Smith's other fear is the 10-year agreement will force the city of Hardin into a financial meltdown, something he's seen happen firsthand at private jails in Coke County, Texas and Tallulah, Louisiana. But they do go bad often. Uh, they don't virtually ever produce the uh, economic benefits that they're touted to produce. A lot of mystery still surrounds the facility, and Hardin officials hope to clear that up when they release the contract to the public. Officials claim to have done their homework and believe APF is a justifiable group that has every intention to fill the jail and help the residents of Hardin for the next decade. Reporting in Billings, Nick Law, Color 8 News. And we tried to contact Two Rivers Authority Vice President Al Peterson, but he did not return our phone calls.